In the heart of Central Asia, between Russia and China, lies Mongolia. It is a country with a long history, tradition, and a strong spirit of survival. Its people, the Mongolians, live in very difficult conditions. With a population of three million, Mongolia is the most sparsely populated country in the world. In fact, there are more horses in Mongolia than people. Although many Mongolians live in towns, about half of the population roams around the Gobi Desert. Mongolia can get very cold in some places. Mongolians wear warm clothes and scarves made from animals they hunt to keep warm. They herd sheep, goats, yaks, horses and two humped camels. Everything they own comes from their herds. Mongolians are very friendly people and are always happy to have guests. People think that great things lie far away, but great things are actually here. People can often have an outsider's point of view towards the natural world and its indigenous inhabitants. We don't really think of ourselves as being a part of nature, and we always seem to be on the outside looking in. However, we still feel that nature should be preserved in the same state so that we can enjoy it. In the case of the Ungorongoro National Park in Tanzania, we favor the preservation of the world-famous wildlife such as the wildebeest, with its migration regarded by some people as a wonder of the natural world, rather than protecting the habitat and culture of the indigenous Maasai. For centuries, Maasai culture and customs have coexisted with the wildlife of the Serengeti, but now they are being asked to leave their homelands. The government believes Maasai settlements and the farming and grazing needs of the growing Maasai population will have a negative effect on the ecosystem. The Maasai people are at a crossroads. There is pressure from the government, pressure from conservationists, an increasing population with no accompanying increase in land, and the unavoidable allure and influence of technology and the modern world, for better or for worse. While there is no easy solution to the complex issues facing the Maasai, the land, at least according to the law, belonged to them. Many people now recognize the struggle the Maasai people face to hold on to their land, but there is also little doubt that their culture is seeing a time of change. Over the years, many projects have been implemented to help the Maasai integrate with the modern world without losing their cultural heritage. Some Maasai are ready to embrace whatever changes may take place. According to one Maasai elder, culture is not static, it is dynamic. It is like fire and each generation adds its own fire to the blaze that is already burning. The Atayao are a tribe of Taiwanese Aborigines. The majority of Atayao people can be found in the Liwu River Valley, located in the mountainous northern region of Taiwan. There are 79 Atayao villages in this area. The word Atayao means true people. The tribe's people live by fishing, hunting, gathering and growing crops. They also practice crafts such as weaving and woodworking. The Atayal are respected as brave people and they have always been known for their great warriors. Many older Atayal people wear facial tattoos. However, it is becoming less common for these tattoos to be seen on the faces of younger Atayal people. The Atayal still preserve many of their traditions. They make and wear clothes like their ancestors wore. They play traditional musical instruments and they perform dances. The Atayal have faced many challenges throughout history, but today their culture is as strong as ever. 